<sighs> Welcome back to Cloud Shop. Live from the basement bar. And now West, the realm- West Virginia, right? West Virginia, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now the realm of the Skull Lord. Hello everyone, I'm the Skull Lord. I'll be hosting today's adventures. Hi, Skull Lord. Can anyone hear you? Can anyone hear you well? I feel can like anyone hear me? Did anyone get a seizure from the mask? Here. That's fine. Is this helpful? The seizure My hat also has a skull on it. There's like a yeah. black oh. marker that like yeah. rubbed off yeah. on the Well, no, I mean, <laughs> it's on I, your nose. I had like makeup and I wore this for our oh, Halloween yeah. video. Oh. So now, yeah. You sweated that much already? It's been like two minutes. How do no, you sweat just, so much? No, it's just grease paint. It never it's goes away. It's there. just on the Oh, mask. it's paint. Yeah, it's on the paint. Oh, it looks like you're really sweaty. Mm. Oh, well, well, we'll get our intern to get you a paper. Oh, yeah, where is our intern? Oh. As none of you know at this table, my favorite web series is a little series called Kill Six Billion Demons. I knew that. I had never heard of that. <laughs> you knew that? No, I didn't. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. <laughs> well, I follow that Patreon for that creator, Ab Abaddon, as well. And uh, dude is like super prolific, okay? Not only does he have one of the best what web that mean? series, it means like the output. Is Makes insane. a lot of stuff. Listen, has all he's like always working on these RPGs, right? He's got like a mech RPG, he's working on this big one. And one of the things available on his Patreon was a fun little, almost like I would say party RPG called Skull Wizards of the Chaos Caverns. You paid for this? I paid for Patreon. You know? Uh, is it like anything to do with us? I also pay it Wait forward and I support You're other telling people. me you paid for this, through someone else's Patreon, so you could take this, so you could bring it back, so you could make content with it, so we could make money off of it as well. But then, our viewers will then go and look at his stuff. And he'll get more money. And he'll get more money. Holy People will read his comics. Shit! Anyways, here's how this is gonna start. Oh. This is a very fun, creative, if you're watching and you're like, I don't wanna watch and play D&D. Don't worry, we're not going there. On right now in front of you is a blank piece of paper with 13 spots, okay? You guys are playing Mad Libs? Yeah, look Yeah! Nice. We're gonna play a little Mad Libs right now, okay? So I want you to pick up your pen. This is like the prelude? This is the, the yes, the prelude to the campaign. And this hey, is the character if, creation If you script. do like watching us play Dungeons & Dragons, we're, we're doing an RTX panel for Class of 1980X. Uh, that would've already have passed. Probably. It might have already passed. Yeah, it might have already passed. <laughs> Number one, I want you to write a noun. Any, any, any noun. Any noun, two. Wait. This is gonna be a long, <laughs> long <laughs> video. <laughs> uh, number two, you all have D6. This entire game is played exclusively with six-sided dice, mm -hmm. AKA normal dice. Everybody roll one of your D6s and write the number down. <clears throat> so you're writing down a number, one through six. One, dude, what? Six. What the maybe fuck? that's maybe that's good for you though. Maybe it's like how many points you take cheat. and oh, die. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Three. Oh, I'll look at his eyes. Right, any animal, any vegetable, or any mineral. Holy shit. But just one. What's mineral. What the, yeah, what the fuck, fuck is a mineral? Reference? Like like water. Like crystal. You could you could I mean like water. Meth. Meth. Like some kind of jam. You could, I'll, I'll allow it. Like a jam is a mineral. For a for jam. today's game, I am the Skull Lord, and I will be the ultimate arbiter of any decision you want to make. So if you're feeling don't take frisky, meth. I already said meth. I don't feel like you look like a Skull Lord without the mask on. So I... just put it on the hat. Okay. Oh. Number five, an ing verb. Wait, five. I G N. Oh, number four, a noun. Okay. I'm not gonna wear this mask the whole time. Every time I put it on, my face gets dirty. <laughs> Five, an ing verb, i.e. running, jumping, climbing, but, you know, use your imaginations. Eh. Six, personality trait or emotion? <laughs> I like what I'm hearing, James. Okay. <laughs> Number seven is a job. Number eight, an ing verb, again. <clears throat> if you'd like to work ahead. Eight, nine, and ten are all ing verbs. Okay. Eight, nine, and ten. Mm-hmm. Did you know that the opposite sides of a die always add up to seven? I did not know that. You know, like three and then four and five and two. That is a useful piece of trivia. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Adjective. Number twelve. A monster. 
made up or can it be should it be a real monster that I know of? <laughs> what's hey, a man. what's a made up monster? <laughs> like I make up a monster in my head. No, a real life okay. monster. Okay. Well, like a real life Wait, monster. Wait, no, I want like I want to explore this. Jared Fogel or an imaginary monster like a manticore. Yeah. Let me turn this mask off. It's really stressing me out. That's what's 13? 13 is an ing verb or a noun. And now, give me a bunch of nouns. Just give me some nouns that I can use for later. Like of ours just or keep just keep doing like new nouns. Oh. Um. Vagina. Wow, Asher. Weeaboo. Okay. Pole. You know, I'll allow it. A pole? Yeah. Like a pole? Like yeah, on a like, flagpole? Like a pole. Uh, arsenic. Okay. Give yeah. me like objects. A leaf. Give me some snake. objects. A leaf. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Did you say a snake? A snake, yeah. Okay. The moon. <laughs> stomach. Stomach. Arsenic and stomach. What is this? Is this part of the criminal investigation podcast? Yeah. Pebble. 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 Uh, Autopsy. Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some adjectives. Oh. Disgusting. Red. Perfect. Sleepy. Ostracizing. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. That's good. Use that. Dope. Is trigger the network? Triggering? Yeah. I can use it. Um, give me some adverbs. Violently. Uh, quickly. <laughs> Disturbingly. Short sightedly. Oh my goodness. Tommy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So, now okay. we're going to decode all the stuff you just wrote down, okay? Okay. So this is now your character sheet. Okay. All, all characters start at level one, okay? Level one, I'm level one. Your class is the noun from number one. <laughs> what? And then, the num and then tell me the number you rolled from number two. Yes, yeah, so I, roll I rolled the table. a one. I'll go around the table. Fighter. So, noun, fighter. For example, what was your noun? Uh, jaundice. You're a jaundice fighter. That's your Okay, class. so <laughs> my race is jaundice. No, you're cl no, that's just the type of this fighter the, you are. Oh. This is your class. Okay, Wait, gotcha. you're, a, you're a jaundice fighter. So gotcha. You're, now you're gonna, cool, cool. You're gonna role play with that as we go, okay? Awesome. So this is, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, what, what number did you roll? Yeah. Um, six. six. Okay, so you're a blank paladin. Oh, I'm a dinosaur. Paladin? A dinosaur yes. paladin. Okay. <laughs> here, that's coming to BFA. Yes. Get, get stoked. All right, uh, what number did you roll? One. So you were also a blank fighter. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> you're more... Say a proper noun. Oh. That's a But that's person. fine, you know what? You're just What's gonna, now you're gonna role play that. Uh, and what number did you roll? Four. You're a blank priest. I'm an arrow priest. Okay, arrow right. priest? Yeah, now, you're like. What the fuck? <laughs> your race is a number three man, woman, person. For example, a dog man, a broccoli <laughs> woman, a granite person, okay? So just, we don't have to go into it yet. You can reveal, just write it. Wait, so what we put the three, that's? You're a, you're a that man oh, or okay. woman or whatever you want to be for this, okay? A well, meth man. Okay. Salt man. <laughs> I'm a cucumber woman. <laughs> Great. You're <laughs> I'm a fox man. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's pretty but cool. But you're a dinosaur fox paladin. Man, dinosaur was, was, so like you, the fuck you is worship, going on? you play to the dinosaur gods, but you yourself are a fox man. Oh, you know, okay, like yeah. You know, makes perfect sense. So you gotta build the RP here. You gotta, you gotta open the mind, okay? Oh my god. Your ancestral weapon is a number four of five. So I have a sloppy Joe of generalizing? I guess. You're, <laughs> like when I said, remember I said like, you're gonna have to use this? Okay, it's fine, we'll make it work. Fuck. This is like the multiverse, okay? Your background is a number six, seven. For example, an angry clerk. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> Your background is a number six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> And if you want to pick this game up, I'm a YouTuber. Link YouTuber. in the description. To You're add a YouTuber. Stuff. YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber for six. And seven. And seven. Yeah, it's my profession. That's a and personality, personality trait. trait to you as a YouTuber. <laughs> All right, moving on. Okay. Your now you have three skills. Each person has three skills. Okay. Your skills are number eight through ten. Wow. Write plus one next to two and minus one next to one. What? Write plus one to two of them of your choosing and negative one oh. on one of your choosing. Okay, and then 
11 and 13 are going to be used during play, so just hand me those sheets if you've copied onto a new page, or I can just 11, 12, and 13. 11, 12, and 13. In this game, there's experience. We play for experience and shiny gold coins, okay? Experience helps you level up, obviously, and uh, when you level up, you can heal yourself. You all have three hit points, and every time you take damage, you lose a skill. Everything you do in this game is based on dice rolls, okay? And here's how that works. The result of your roll will always be the following. You're rolling two d6s for a maximum of 12, right? If you roll a 10, 11, or 12, that's a total success with no downsides, okay? Seven, eight, and nine is a success, but something bad or humiliating also happens, such as getting stabbed, dropping or breaking your weapon, stepping on another character's foot, falling down a crevasse. It might involve taking damage. I'll decide in the moment what's going on. And then two through six is an unequivocal failure. You will always take damage and get humiliated and fail at what you were trying to do. Sweet. Okay. Now if you want, again, you earn experience points through for little things throughout the game, but I'll give each of you one experience point if you draw a sketch of your character right now. But only if you want the one experience point, it's optional. It seems like you're all doing something, so I'll just drink my drink. He definitely looks like a meth addict, you know? <laughs> okay, who wants to, are you done? Whatever that is. I'm just coloring. Okay. I'm ready. I guess we'll start with Asher, reveal okay. your character. All right, well, I'm Tomothy. <laughs> Tomothy. I'm a jaundice fighter salt man. A jaundice salt man. fighter salt man? Yeah, it's man. because I have jaundice because it's all yellow, and uh, my skin is very salty, so like salt's pouring out, and I have my Sloppy Joe of generalizing as my weapon. Are you made out of salt? Partially. You're like salty all the time? It's like, you know how skin is naturally that kind of salty? I just have super salty skin. But you're not made out of salt? No, but I'm getting there. Okay. Yeah, I'm like what? constantly dehydrated and stuff. And you have a Sloppy Joe as a weapon? Yeah, I'm generalizing and I have a cool hat on because I'm a YouTuber. How do you use the Sloppy Joe? Is there like a, a talisman or something? I assume you're not hitting yeah, people it, with it. Yeah, it. it just it navigates me toward people I can be prejudiced against. Oh, generalizing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoa. What's your job? <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. Uh, what are your three skills, yeah? Uh, crusting, dusting, and lusting. <laughs> which, are, which one are you uh, not good at? Dusting. Okay. What's crusting? Like making like crust? Like for pie? Yeah, it's making crust or for pie. Or just like just putting, crusting, your crust putting a crust around you. you. Like I made a salt and I can make the salt like sort of scab around me for like a little protective shield. Oh, oh that's very good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. called okay. crusting. It's important that you give me real answers because I will have to use your real answers. Yeah, yeah, I realized that. <laughs> to I realized that after I agreed with James that that shouldn't be what the real yeah. thing is. Yeah, I have, I have a protective little coat I can okay. crust up. Yeah. Interesting. Crusting. Lusting, lusting is just added charisma. I mean, I don't know that it really applies to charisma. It makes Not you really. Lust. You're, you can be lustful and disgusting. You could also be lost in lust, you know? I feel like that could, that could also it. hinder you in a way, if you're, you're too That's cool, true, it's know? like a double-sided sword. Yeah. yeah, it is, isn't lust it? Could it's an interesting you know, dynamic path. now, isn't it? We'll just have to see in the, in the moment. <laughs> All right, well, let's move on. Um, I go by uh, Furry God Thirteen. What? Furry, Furry God, God 13? Thirteen? Yes, wow. that's my alias on the Deviant Art community. Okay. I'm um, a priest. Yes, that is that's that great. is that is my persona. You look great. Uh, that you are looking at. Technically, he's a paladin. But... He's a paladin. Right. Well, it's holy. Paladin, just like a cool priest. Uh, you know, that's really what you make it in the day. Uh, you're a furry. Yeah. You're a f you're a fox man. Dinosaur paladin. Well, my my first son is a, a fox. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's where Thank it is. What's your background? Oh, uh, my background is I'm a depressed police officer. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I'm sure that will come into play at some point, I guess. Probably. What's your ancestral weapon? It's a uh, YouTube of sleeping. What's with you guys on YouTube? <laughs> the fuck? Don't you get enough of it already? As is. I just gotta play it. with I just it too. Be funny to put in. Your YouTube of sleeping. I let's 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 have a game. wee. Gently nudge that in something that makes sense. Maybe like, uh, like an iPhone that you watch your YouTube videos on. No, I kind of, I kind of like the idea <laughs> of. Uh, <laughs> he's not budging. Just like, give it to. Well, it's gonna need to make sense because he can say a YouTube of sleeping. What the well, fuck is that? It's like, have you heard of ASMR? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you're gonna have to like physically use this thing. I just oh, wanna be I clear see, on that. I end. see what you're saying. Yeah. That was my first thought, is like he has a Everyone with the can... proper nouns and the abstract items. We're playing a dungeon crawler, so I just, <laughs> Listen, you know, I just want to it. was that or kinda... IGN, you know okay. what I mean? Well, At least I... with this one, yeah, I can have an iPhone. IGN, okay. a, a, That's all a I'm... newspaper or something? I'm not trying to dampen your creativity. I just need you to be able to actually perform tasks. Just take the phone. It's like an iPhone so, that just makes I'll take the, fall Okay, fine, I'll take the iPhone. Well, does that make sense for your character? I mean, I, I, sure. just, I just want something. <laughs> Just like help me out here, guys. Sure. You know I have saying? an iPhone and I play. I'm sleeping. I play ASMR videos and binaural beats. Okay. Cool. That's very helpful. That's very good. Alex. It's such a shitty weapon. All right, great. Let's move on. You James. Just over my skills. What are you? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. What That's are your? Okay. What are your? I'm gonna uh, forget all of this. Shooting, dismantling, and karate chopping. Shooting, mm -hmm. dismantling. And karate chop. Those are great. Those are great. Those are actually all real things. Useful, yeah. Which one are you not good at? Dismantling. And what were you bad at again? I'm bad at uh, dusting. Yeah, he's bad at dusting. Oh, my mistake. But he's good at Lusty and Creston. Nice. High five. Uh, what's your name? Jolf. As I said before, I'm a Morgan Freeman fighter. And what does that mean? <laughs> I don't think it's like you, where I'm literally Morgan Freeman. I would just say, like, you know, he was under some some pretty bad allegations. So, like, you know, I just kind of, like, picture bad people like Morgan Freeman. And I guess if you just fights him. Oh. Yeah, well, why why, why Morgan Freeman Oh, so you're, like, a prosecutor. Like, you're persecuting Morgan yeah. Freeman. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, his his race is a meth man. He's a meth man. Yeah. <laughs> Can you uh, describe that? He's like physically like crystal being made of meth, or that actually sounds pretty cool. But <laughs> it sound pretty cool. That's not what it the is. way I thought of it was just like he's highly addicted to, uh, on meth all the time. So is that why he hates Morgan Freeman so much? Maybe. He has this weapon, which is a uh, mushroom of fingering. Ew. Yeah. Okay, that's the ancestral <laughs> weapon. Okay. <laughs> Cool. I'm be honest beforehand. When you when I, I wanted I I wanted my person to be a mushroom. Yeah. Like I wanted his race to be a mushroom. Oh, so you were so trying I to put, game the system. Yeah, I was hand. trying to have him be a mushroom physically, but <laughs> it ended up being his weapon. So Ain't that how it goes. Ain't that how it goes sometimes. I, <laughs> uh, his background is a an angsty gardener. Angsty and, gardener. And his uh, skills are gloating, uh, driving, driving, and licking. And licking. Hmm. The licking is the bad one. Ooh, not great at that. Okay. Yeah. He's got the fingering thing, so. That's tremendous, Joff. And Thank last you. but not least, the fourth. <clears throat> My name is Butterbee Rubber. Butterbee? I'm gonna call you Butterbee for sure. Yeah, you can call Butter me Butterbee Rubber. Butterbee Rubber. Butterbee Rubber. Yeah. Butterbee Rubber. Butterbee Rubber. Butterbee Rubber. Butterbee Rubber. Butterbee all one word. It's like last just, name it's Rubber. It's like erasing my brain cells yeah. every time I hear it. Butterbee Rubber. Is that a spell? Are you casting a spell in real life? <laughs> yes. What? Butterbee Rubber. Um, I'm an arrow priest. An arrow priest. Here we go. Dark I'm a, um, a cucumber woman. Did I say that? No, you didn't. Thank you. You're a cucumber woman. Yeah, that's Holy why. Like oh, phys wow. Very physically. Yeah, uh, pickle I'm red, a cucumber. But like a cucumber. Yeah. Cucumber. You, you cucumber. Cucumber. Without, without <laughs> crippling autism, I understand. Yeah. Right. I'm a cucumber, cucumber woman. woman. Also, I have, I have sparkly wings. I mean, Is there a condom just... on your head? What's the deal with it? Oh, um, that has to do with my background. Okay. So I will tell you about that. My weapon is a butter stick of swallowing. <laughs> what? A butter stick yeah. of swallowing. Swallowing. So, so presumably your. I drew it, it as. Swallows things. I up. drew it as a stick of butter that has a mouth and it swallows stuff. Whoa. Hmm. Okay. What the fuck? This is straight out of Rick and Morty, like your character. You have to be on acid to like come up with this stuff. Oh, my background is I'm an excitable beekeeper. <laughs> beekeeper. Excited. How can so. you be excited about that? <laughs> <laughs> the way the, well, the bees dice are the bees are dying, dying. Yeah, so it's help very them. so that's why I have like part of my gear is the oh the bee suit the bee suit mm -hmm. except yeah. for I have rubber armor okay so my skills are time traveling rubbing and smelling time traveling well we're all time traveling you know seconds ahead in the future yeah right? apparently I can do it more mm, we'll see uh, time travel <laughs> time <laughs> traveling <laughs> what rubbing and smelling rubbing and smelling and which yeah. one are you bad at rubbing. 
Interesting. Interesting. That's very interesting. It would be funny if you were bad at time traveling. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. <laughs> I just stay in one place. Yeah. All right, well, good to meet you guys. Uh, each of you, I'm gonna use this advanced rule set, each of you does have a class power, okay? I'm very excited for you. Fighters, gain double experience and an extra shiny gold coin if you personally defeat a challenge or monster. Sweet. Okay? Okay. Paladin, once per dungeon, you can redeem a dead character, bring them back to life, restoring them to full health. However, they must erase all their former skills and gain three entirely new skills, which are established by the group. Okay? Permadeath is real in this campaign. You're the only one who can bring someone back from the dead. Sweet. And what are you? You're a what? Priest. A priest. You can pray to... Wait, who, who do you worship? Oh, I don't bees. know. Bees. Dinosaurs. I was gonna... Yeah, I mean, I probably would be, be like a bee worshiper. Yeah. Yep. Just the collective bees. Queen bee? The queen. Yeah, the queen bee. Beyonce. Listen. Okay. This is Beyonce. Be <laughs> yeah, you worship Beyonce. The thing is, I worship Beyonce. Uh, her religion might conflict with mine. I'm just saying that as a pre-warning. Okay, that's fair. Um, just there can't. I mean, there can be animosity in the group, and it's all up to you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your ability is you can pray to your god and turn any roll into a coin flip, treating tails as two through six and heads as a ten plus. Wowzers! That's pretty good. That's a powerful thing. That's a there. powerful thing. Okay, great. <clears throat> Everyone happy? So, happy. Uh, sh so should fun. we? Should we? Um, I really wish my guy was a mushroom. Pause for a second and like go into the outfits and like put a bunch of shit together and make. Would you like to gear yourselves for this adventure? I'll allow it. Okay, the four of you are currently at a tavern as so many of these adventures oh. begin. You're all at the Black Pony, the local adventuring tavern for apparently multi-dimensional cruxes of worlds here. Yeah, we were a weird gang. Yeah, we're not necessarily together, but you know, you kind of just, Ended up you come here, place. you hang out here, you wait for a quest to roll through and you just part, you just, you know, it's like pugging, man. You just. Whoever's around, this is who's with you, okay? Gotcha. So you guys are kind of next. Why is this one wearing the suit inside? Ask Never know when a bee might come around. You're gonna yeah, ask her. part of my just, outfit. Why is the other, why are you wearing the suit inside? I feel more confident. Just take the mask off. I can't. You don't want to see my face. All right, I'm gonna go talk to him. How's it go? Why is your face all fucked up? I have jaundice. <laughs> go talk to him. <laughs> I'm just going around walking everybody. around the party as being a dick. <laughs> Why are you wearing that thing? Why is your face fucked up? <laughs> everybody done with introductions? He didn't. Fox, right, you want this guy's just alone in the corner. I don't want anybody talking to me. Do you want to eat a mushroom? Right. Hey, Fox boy. Do you want to eat a mushroom? Who the fuck are you? Don't, I'm just don't like touch a guy the mushroom. That, uh, it's, it's wiggling like a finger. A fucking, uh, are you causing a commotion? I'm not I'm trying, trying to. Sorry I disturbed you. I'll keep my mushrooms to myself. Suddenly, <laughs> long before you hear the sound, comes a, a breeze rolling through the black pony. What was that breeze? It smells bad. Oh, it Oh, stinks. I can really, really, really me, smell sorry. it. <laughs> you think maybe for a second it's just yourself. It might be this guy maybe over something here. You ate, but John, it's, John just does affect your digestive system. It's so much worse. It's worse. It's the smell of cow shit. <laughs> Man. Dirt, old rainwater. Kind of all mixing together at Old once. Old rainwater. And in rolls a filthy, dirty peasant. Ew. Mud in his hair, sticks, bugs, crawling, wearing a dirty potato sack. Adventurers! Adventurers! I need your help. Who will help me find my weeaboo moon? The sacred object. My most precious object. 
Oh, you gotta talk to this guy right here. He's so like, no one else in this. Yeah, I mean, no one. <laughs> Adventurers, there's no time. Talk to the cop. Must be brave. I don't know what this man is is talking about. Here, <laughs> sir? sir, it's just like when remember like a crazy like homeless guy put you on the street. You just gotta be like, no thanks. No, thank you. <clears throat> I don't have any. You may thank me of some low station, but I have four shiny gold coins Ooh. from my fortune for anyone who can find me. My weeaboo moon, ah! What's this look like? What's the weeaboo yeah. moon look like? What is it? <sighs> small and huge. The fuck is wrong? Both man? small enough to fit within your heart and fill you with the glow of a new episode of Darling in the Franks, oh. and huge enough to crush the planet. Like Majora's Mask. My mushrooms could do that for me, no problem. <laughs> I'm not talking about drugs. Oh. Or anything from this know? world. The Weeaboo Moon. I lost it. I'm such a fool, I lost it deep within the Chaos Caverns. And I need a party of adventurers to go down there and get it. Four shiny gold coins. Good, at any shopkeeper, you could get better weapons. Why don't you just buy yourself better clothes instead of, you know, running around screaming at people? When you have the Weeaboo Moon, you don't need anything else in your life. So like a coin? Like a lifetime like a... subscription to Funimation. Oh. Mm. Is it like a DVD? Like a thousand, hundred thousand body pillows cascading from the sky. The Weeaboo Moon makes all things possible. I think it's an affiliate <sighs> code. I think it's an affiliate code. I think he's just trying to. He's like, got an affiliate. So much yeah. more. Oh, it's more than an affiliate. But I'm not strong enough to go down into the chaos caverns where I saw it roll away from me. Though my eyes filled with tears, oh. I could not pursue it. Only for such as you can set things right. I don't think you know that if we're qualified for that. A cucumber too. You're next in the queue, <laughs> and I don't have time to explain this story to every other person in this bar. I'm ready. You there. I'm ready to go. Giant vegetable. Yes. Yes! Will you leave this group? <laughs> yes. I'm a cucumber woman. Are you with this one, or what? I don't know who the fuck she is. Well, uh, that, we just met, so. I don't, I'd never met you. Can I have a piece of your Yeah, cucumber? yeah, you gave me some mushrooms, so I'll shave off some of my ass. How, how much? <laughs> I don't know, like a couple ounces. Wow. She didn't give you a damn. couple ounces of her ass. I'm putting that in my inventory. Hot, <laughs> I, I got hot damn. I, I got cucumber ass in my inventory. Do you feel <laughs> pain? Uh, no. No. Does that, does that ass regrow or what's the deal with... <laughs> no, it doesn't. What permanent scars? She's gonna wither her away. <laughs> what the fuck? You're just going around giving people your ass. Only, She's only covered in all these a little dices. bit at a time. But. Is that like prostitution? But I don't know if prostitution is legal down here. I'm, it's not really cannibalism either. I guess it's fine. I just pray to the uh, bee gods and they, you know, replenish my I bet body. A shiny gold coin could buy a replacement ass. Yeah, I, I need it. Replacement you know. cucumber ass. You like a yeah. shiny gold coin <laughs> for Transfer each from of one you. cucumber to the other. Yeah. But I need your answer now. I'll go. If I can also give you a slice of my ass. You, what? You want to give me a slice of your ass? You have to take part of his jaundice ass. Yeah. How are you doing that? What are you made out of? Crescent. No, I'm just, I mean, most, it's half skin and half salt. Do you mean like figuratively oh. a piece of your ass? No, like the same way that. Does he just, you just crust up and then you like kind of. Yeah, I crust it up and I shave it off. What's the crust made of? Salt? Yeah, it's salt. I have super salt. Jaundice salt. Sure, I'll take some of that. All right. I'm in then. Add some spice yes. to your meal. So it's three some, out of four. Got some cucumber, I got like, some salt. It's like cracked out adventure time. I mean, it's your ass shit, out of. shit, my ass, hey. It's a foxy don't ass. Don't talk about yeah, my, like don't talk about my Foxy. I'm not a fucking fox. You're, it's my first sauna. I have already went over this multiple You're a fox. Times. I'm a fox man, yeah, that is my DBNR persona persona. It's just- Let's get out of here. The most fun I've heard in a long time. I want to see your ass get shaved. <laughs> and I want to see you turn into a crust man. Sure, let's go home, this dude. Great adventurers. I'm going to put on an episode of Miss Kobayashi, and you're going to descend into the Chaos Caverns. But I'll be Super. waiting here with your four shiny gold coins. Where do you keep this? Because the sack doesn't have pockets. I'm just holding it, oh. occasionally tucking it under flaps of my skin. Yeah. Kind of He's very disgusting. flappy. But I'll tell you what, those who come back dead don't get any. How's that work? Come back dead? Well, obviously, like, how are you gonna, if you're dead, you don't, you don't need it. What, are we gonna carry each other back if one of us dies? We're not gonna come back dead. Off the party goes to the depths 
of the Chaos Caverns. Okay. Sweet. I need a location. Florida uh, China. Keys. Mm. So, Magic Mountain. Like a location in the world, not like. Okay, uh, fine. You know what? Magic. Like, what do you mountain. mean, like a terrain or? <laughs> like a like a place. Like I said Florida Keys. Place. That's too far. Okay. <laughs> you guys load into a, a van and you drive to Magic Mountain. Sweet. Whereupon, in the middle of the <clears throat> ruins of Magic Mountain, is a gigantic crack in the earth, glowing with light. Wow. You scramble down. Ew. Into the dungeon. <laughs> knowing that the Weeaboo Moon awaits you at the depths, the bottom of its four floors. Holy shit, I got this first year out of the back of my fucking cop car. I'm so drunk. <laughs> what the fuck are we? You picked the right crew for this task. I'm not here anymore, I'm back, I'm watching. Oh. Is a fox dressed as a cow? No, I didn't have the fox head, I only had the cow head for this one. Are you an actual fox? No, he's a furry, remember? A furry. Can anyone keep up with the lore Oh here? yeah, he's a furry. I'm, okay. furry. I'm, explain, I'm explaining you this. I thought that was your race, I thought you were fox. You weren't listening. Oh, he has a very fox, clear <laughs> That's his persona. So here's how this works. Every floor has a challenge and a boss. Okay. Okay. Great. And every floor, I'm gonna roll, and it'll be one of six things, followed by a boss, okay? Now what, you're also helping me build the dungeon as we go along creatively, it okay? Looks like you. Cool. So. <clears throat> you descend the stairs into the first floor. That's Ooh. a high number. Good news. Number five on the first floor. It's below Magic Mountain, so you kind of see a lot of, like, they kept the old, like, storage of, like, old food, old, um, you know, like, merchandise. You see, like, Magic Mountain t-shirts and stuff like that, but you can see down deeper into deeper levels, and you're gonna go down. But right here, right in front of you, <clears throat> is a treasure. Who would leave this treasure out in the open like that? So we're, we're technically trespassing. Yeah. Just so we're all aware. We're adventurers. Uh, we're, well, dude. we're on private property. They were being commissioned to do this, so it's fine. Yeah. Well, we're not being commissioned. There was a guy that told us to come down here. I, I am breaking the law with you, and I just want to state that after the fact. We are um, the police officer, right? Yeah. Just well, say it's okay. This is a crime. Just, yeah, tell us just it's say okay. It's fine. No, I'm not going to tell you it's okay. Why it's are you okay. here then? I just told you I'm depressed. Well, you're an accomplice, so. Yeah. Now you're already in with us. Okay, I understand that. I'm just giving so you the bylaws. So if you tell on us, we'll tell on you, cow. Yeah, you're kind of Fox in a nice man. little catch-22, aren't you? No one will believe you. Officer. You're a fucking cucumber. You're a drug addict. <laughs> yeah, I am. This guy over here is a fucking salt crust, all right? As far as I know, I'm like on an acid trip. Look, there's a fucking treasure right here. All right. Are you one in on yeah, it? Yeah, what's the or treasure? Or you want to back out, copy? That's a good question. What is the treasure? Is it a chest? I'm giving each of you one experience cool. point for drawing your character. Is this his? Oh, yeah. It's oh. five experience points to level up. No, I need a member of this group to embellish and tell me what treasure they see before them. I'll give you one experience point to whoever wants Go to Go ahead, do Asher. What kind of treasure is there? Uh, I see a really nice unopened Razer headphone box. A razor headphone box. What kind of head? What kind of razor? Like the earbuds? The no, it's like the full headset with the mic. Ooh, yeah, this is only know. appealing to you. Yeah, is a YouTuber. Fucking YouTuber. Sitting on the floor, gl <laughs> glowing from a single overhead fluorescent light that almost seems like a beam from heaven. It's this perfect, just like absolutely immense. So is the outer plastic wrapping on the box. Razor headphones. Wow, yeah. that's yeah. worth oh, so much. Oh. I think so. I watch unboxing videos like it's porn. I think somebody left their pair of headphones here, and we should probably report it down to the station. Are you going to contest every single thing, <laughs> officer? I'm just saying these. You've are the committed a crime already. What's I'd, one more? I'm not. I'm not taking these. You know, I make good money down. Okay, cool. So we don't have to worry about it. He doesn't want it. Well, it'll no, be I between the three of okay. us. Who's gonna Who's gonna go for the treasure? I mean, I need to finish my Sims 4 playthrough. My headset just broke. All right. That is my job. It should be, yeah. You know, you're right. You can make money doing that. It's getting tough. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, you're gonna go for the treasure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I need to take uh, your dice, and you're gonna we're gonna see how, how you do. Yeah, you're gonna roll your two d6, and you're gonna what? Approach the treasure. Seven. That's a seven. Great. You did it. I did it's it. I approached it. <laughs> You walk up to it, you successfully pick the box up off the floor. But there's humiliation. <laughs> Upon closer oh. examination, it's not as nice of a set 
you can actually tell that they've actually rewrapped this. It's not the original plastic wrap of the box. Mm. Like someone's no actually prank. kind of clearly rewrapped it. You you open it and there are the headphones inside, but this is clearly a reboxing and return. This is not a mint condition <laughs> headset. <laughs> They're right. knockoffs. But but I mean you're gonna, you can use them. So you know congratulations. You hey, have thanks, you have yeah. a new pair of headphones. That's fine. I'll take wow. what I can get. Yeah. Should I write that in my inventory yeah, or something? Yeah, that's your inventory. Cool. Sweet. And you get an experience point. Good job, dude. Thank you. I got I'm so much more experience than the rest of my team. Yeah. He experience. doesn't get any bonuses for being a fighter and completing a challenge. Did you say that? Oh yeah, that's Great. right. Memory gem. Hey, I, cool I got you, fellow fighter. You get we're both fighters. Double experience. So Asher got his headphones. Are you putting those on, or are you just gonna carry those with you? Or I'll just carry them. Just carrying them around. Get the salt crystals hey, didn't, on. Didn't I arrest you or something? Didn't somebody, my partner, arrest you last week? Ah, uh, no, that was my um, my friend. We're, we're gardeners. We look kind of similar. Yeah, that was my friend. He's still in there as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Wow. You guys look alike. What a bunch of fucking convicts you yeah. people are. Yeah, we do. Me? Yeah, you just stole someone's shit. I didn't steal it, they left it in a cave or some shit. It's the back of someone's house. Oh. In, in the middle of the <laughs> Magic Mountain? Yeah, we're in Magic Mountain. Isn't all this shit magic? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? It's cool. Did you take my mushroom? <laughs> Isn't everything magic? <laughs> well, as the group argues amongst itself, from the back room comes a low growling. Something has realized that its razor headset is out of place. Oh no. Oh, Whoa. Suddenly, lurching from the shadows, emerges a shapely werewolf. What? With the power of foot. What the of fuck? Foot? Tar foot. You notice its back feet are huge. Holy shit. And it clears across the entire room with one leap towards you. What? This thing is huge, and its feet especially. And it's it's very large feet. <laughs> extremely shapely, extreme. You're actually almost a little that attracted to it. That thing is so shapely. It. You're feeling some weird feelings about this world, except especially maybe you. It's a very shapely werewolf. You I all, like it. It's got a big rump. You yes. all agree. <laughs> yeah. This is having effects on me. I'm like, figure. Oh, wow. Like, you guys wow. don't understand how I feel about this. Whoa. Because this is one of my fur fantasies. You want a slice of that thing's ass? I have a webcomic that has that star as a werewolf exactly like this one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I was just standing there. Where I, was I can't saying. see very well, but this is fucking great. Is the werewolf saying anything? Is it just growling at us? It's just growling. It it's looking at, it's sizing you all up, but it's, then it notices Asher has its headphones. I'll just throw them back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it sees the headphones smash onto the ground. Oh my god, you, you just broke like I didn't even roll for that. It's like the a fuck? concrete sound. It's fine, this is not, this is just, okay. so you're not stopping. So now you got broken. Anything. You don't even have them in your inventory anymore. You threw them. Yeah, I did. Fucking more. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm scared, this big shapely werewolf. <laughs> the werewolf is now advancing towards Tomothy. Holy Are any of you going to take shit. An, an attempt to do something with a skill or a weapon I crust or anything? Up. You're going to try to crust up? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and Ooh. roll for it if that's what you want to do. 12. That's a wow. 12. You fully crust up. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> like the thing from Fantastic Four. Salt <laughs> emerges from your body forming a complete coating Oh including God. over your eyes and mouth and nose of just yeah, salt. Yeah, solidified. Doesn't that taste good? What in the world want to eat? Nah, it's too salty. The That's werewolf too salty. is too much. Honestly, sort of taken aback for a second by this complete cocooning in salt. It is a very fast process. It sort of shimmered and just cascaded down his body. The werewolf is temporarily confused, but still actively in the room and ready to hurt one of you. So, I want to give it a mushroom. <laughs> You want to give it a mushroom? Yeah, I want to give it one of my mushrooms. One of my mushrooms of fingering. Now, what does that mean? We, don't, we didn't establish We haven't that. established it yet, because no one's <laughs> eaten gonna, one yet. Find out? No one's eaten one yet. Okay. Why do you think I was trying to get the cucumber to eat one earlier? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Roll for it, sure. Six. That's a six. That's a okay. fail. That's a fail. Joff raises the mushroom out in the, in the pale light of this basement and the mushroom prematurely explodes. Spores fill the air and oh, fuck, go dude. directly back well, now we're gonna into know your what own face. Yeah, now you're gonna find out. You take one 
hit point of damage, breathing in your own poisonous spores. And I finger my own asshole, because that's what it does. <laughs> <laughs> you finger your own as asshole. As though compulsively, <laughs> your hand, almost against your own action, as the spores sort of pollute your brain, you feel it, you feel yourself just compelled to start digging around in your own ass crack. Holy shit, I'm thinking. <laughs> First you kind of think maybe you have like a dingleberry, but then you realize, no, you're just compelled to just keep wriggling that finger through your clothes, kind of just deeper and deeper in there. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Jesus. <laughs> you heard my ass. <laughs> This is why Which he are, needs some of my asses, because he keeps fingering his own out of his... This is just too this much the first ass. time this has happened. I've never had this happen to me before. Which of your three skills do you lose? Uh, licking? Am I already, I'm already at negative one. The so spores are in your mouth, in your nose. It's hurting you, and you, you can tell your tongue is now a little swollen. You're not going to be able to lick as well as you used to. So it's yeah. unavailable from going forward until you're healed. Okay. Damn, man. No more licking for now. <laughs> and I'm fingering my own asshole. When do I stop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how long is it going for? It's like a turn. Oh, like when your next action, whenever you choose. Turn of I'm still going, you guys. Hurry up and do something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, so you don't like it? It's like you're being possessed. Yeah, it's a spore. It's, it's a like spore from the mushroom. No, it's, it's, like, it's, it's not even a pleasant trip. Like you're not enjoying no. fingering no. your no. asshole. You know, you're like, like moaning like out of ecstasy. Cordyceps like take over an ant's brain and make it go do something. That's kind of what your arm is doing. Yeah, and you feel like maybe if things keep going wrong. Like your second arm, you're gonna have to get in there with both hands. But that's we'll see. <laughs> oh fuck! You guys gotta do something. Something. You might need um, detox or something, kid. I was gonna get up close and do some sniffing, you know, like dogs would sniff each other to see if they like each other, so I'm gonna smell them and, and sure. see if we can flirt it Why out. Why would anyone the use their fuck? weapons? <laughs> when you can get close and sniff I them. Used yeah, right. I, I used my weapon. I used mine. Well, I thought about it's swallowing it's the fine. wolf, but I figured maybe if we, Skull Lord you know, makes no. he said he's very, it's very shady. It's honestly, so, yeah, it's very good, it's so a good like, looking. Maybe, got big we'll, feet maybe too. we'll hit it off and I can be like, yo, sorry about the headphones. Let's try it. And I'll be like, no, it's fine, you smell like, Fresh gardens and honey. Hope it takes a bite out of you. Wow. Dang it. That's a 10. ten. You get closer to the werewolf. Mm, 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 it smells mm. very good. To be honest, mm, mm, it kind of smells mm. like your favorite scent at mm, mm, like, uh, mm, Bed Bath & Beyond. Honey. Oh, like a sandalwood. Mm. Yeah, it's very like, it's, <laughs> it's honestly made you a little more attractive to the werewolf. Uh, the werewolf is a little confused by almost everything that's happening in this room right now. Mm -hmm. The cocoon of salt, the person poisoning themselves with some sort of mushroom. I'm fingering my own asshole. Yeah, mainly the right fingering now. my own asshole. So the werewolf just gives you a strong push away from it. You don't take damage, but it's, it's just honestly like, what's going it's on? It's like, stop, you guys are, stop. And it says, stop. Stop. <laughs> oh man, I stop. thought you were hitting it off. Stop. It's the first word that ever spoke. <laughs> stop. <laughs> it's, your, it's your turn if you want like, to go. I mean, from what I just witnessed, you know, you can't encroach your space like that. You can't just go up to people. Uh, <laughs> I'm still fingering my own asshole, by the way. No, I'm, I've watched you finger. I think I'm more thrown off by you fingering yeah, your asshole. Yeah, you're distracted. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this werewolf somewhere. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pull up a YouTube video on my on my iPhone and uh, play, him, play him some... ASMR. <laughs> play him some werewolf ASMR. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Let's see if that exists. If that exists. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. Three. Wow. So there's this really funny video I want to play. <laughs> <laughs> the werewolf, <laughs> infuriated by another person coming near, swings and shatters the screen of your iPhone. No! Dude. So expensive. Only oh weapon. no, my screen shattered. <laughs> <laughs> the phone is still functional, but now the screen is heavily spider webbed, making hey. it much harder to watch or see anything on the screen. And honestly, it's a little annoying. Hey, that shit's battery. You take one point of damage from the phone kind of hitting your lower jaw as it slapped onto the ground. Oh, so like, <laughs> exactly oh. like that. Oh. It didn't feel good. That actually sounded like it. Oh, he <laughs> needs to like a beekeeper helmet. Now. You've taken a point of damage, which of your skills will you be giving up? Fucking dismantling, dude. Dismantling? The one you're not good at? Yeah. <laughs> well, normally when you dismantle something, you pull up a YouTube video, but you know now that pulling up a schematic on a phone that spiderwebbed and broken is gonna be a problem. And your chin kinda hurts. So, there will be no dismantling for you unless you can get a chance to heal, okay? I'm sorry. Okay. We're going around? I guess it's your turn. Oh, I'm out of the shell? Well, you're still, uh, yeah. I, I don't know. How does it work? You have to tell me. It's your salt armor. Can you, you move your arms? Like ten turns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just stuck in the corner. 
No, I'll sweat it off and I'll be free. So you don't have armor anymore? You just, literally it was just like a one turn protection for yeah. you. Well, I, I avoided the damage. I can no, no, it's fine, it. I can be that. It's not really so much about you. Whatever, just fine. Just okay, so my weapon <laughs> no point in is a Sloppy Jove Generalizing. Sloppy Jove Generalizing, okay. And it's the talisman that I hold up and it tells me if something is worth like being prejudiced against. So okay. I hold it up and it does indeed point toward the werewolf and it says you don't want to be friends with that werewolf. Okay. Are you going to roll to use that weapon though? Oh, yeah, you kind of got to roll for everything. That's, that's true, yeah, we'll see what it says. Eight? That's an eight. Is that a success? But with humiliation. Or something bad happened. Okay, okay, so I am prejudiced against it. So you hold up the sloppy Joe, and yeah. it does in fact say that you should be that. So what's your what do you what do you do in response? Uh, I just tried call it, calling it some like names. Go ahead. Some like werewolf epithets. Go ahead. Hey, hey, stinky. Hey, hey, stinky. <laughs> You gotta get more prejudice than that. You gotta get a little bit more prejudice. You you like notice that the werewolf feelings. is slightly like recoiling at what you're saying, but you you feel this urge to go harder. Yeah, you gotta go harder. <laughs> it's at least like a nine. Are you gonna call hey, it? you're a you're a fucking. I actually like this. You're gay. What? Hey man, that's not cool. It works better when I roll a ten. You say these words, and <laughs> honestly, the werewolf is offended by it, but more so by the use that you still think that's a, you know, an appropriate thing. He thinks I'm homophobic thing. now. Yeah. So honestly, yeah. you, you sense kind of a moment so pass why. between you where the werewolf's pretty sure you're a homophobe. Now, the werewolf hey, backs man. off. That's not cool. I know, I'm sorry. The werewolf backs off and just looks around at all of you and runs away. <laughs> Oh, leaves the room. It, left, it worked, dude. It worked. But you nice. feel, Sloppy honestly, Joe. you feel pretty shitty. You yeah. kind of had a moment exchange between your eyes, where you, and honestly, you thought you were gonna like say some cool insults, and all you could say was you're gay. Yeah. So it's kind of honestly embarrassing. You, you kind of sense everyone else kind of being like, that was what the sloppy joke like, I kind of yeah. wish that I'd stayed in my cocoon. Yeah. I'm still fingering my asshole, and I thought that was bad. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, now the werewolf doesn't think good of me at all. It's just not. Very, it wasn't a very good insult. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. So you feel kind of. You feel kind of embarrassed. Yeah. We get a, but you get a point of experience. We get a you ten seventy eight hey, down so at the uh, cavern outside the Wait, Black Pony. Uh, Are you reporting me? Suspect ran away after a uh, uh, case of assault and battery. I'll also like to report a hate crime down to the precinct after um, the allegations of uh, homophobia here. Okay. We well, he that. successfully made the werewolf go away. You failed. Um, I mean, you just it didn't do anything. It wasn't. Anything. You, yeah. just, you just smelled the werewolf. I and mean, what'd you want the werewolf to like be happy that you smelled it? Well, we were like flirting, like a dog would flirt. You know, they smell each other. Okay. Right. Maybe, <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> maybe next time. So what um, do I get for level two? It's just sort of random. Are you? You have five experience points. Yeah. Oh, you can cash it in. Have you taken any damage? Nope. Wait, he also defeated an enemy though, right? right? He got he got his last, his fifth experience point for- But he doesn't get the gold? You said if it was an enemy, he would get a gold. A single yes. there gold you go. coin rolls out of oh, the yeah. back room. The werewolf, I don't know, where did this even come from? Who knows, must, the have, werewolf been, just rolled must have been kicked up off the floor. It was stuck between his big toes. Ran off. Yeah, it's a massive single feet. gold <laughs> coin rolls your way. Isn't that exciting? Yes. Look at that. Wow, Ooh, yeah. hopefully you'll run into a shopkeeper. Now you can, you're leveling up. So you can either increase one of your skills by plus one. Again, you can use your skills like she did, you know, smell, whatever the case may be. You can increase one of your skills by plus one to a maximum of plus three. You can erase a skill and we can all give you a new skill or you can heal but you're not hurt, so. Well, let's replace one. Okay. So Which skill? replace you're dusting. You're gonna replace <laughs> dusting. Yeah. Now, well, it must be given to you by the rest of the group. What should we give him? Sweeping instead. <laughs> <laughs> instead of dusting. Yeah, sweeping. How about, how about empathy? Empathy? Ooh. Yeah. And that's the one that's negative one? <laughs> sure, empathize. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My other skill's empathy, which I'm not very good at. You are now a level two, whatever you are. John Jaundice Fighter. Fighter. Yeah. You sense con extra confidence after this, after this thing. Sure, you made yourself look bad and the sloppy Joe, like, I don't know, maybe you're not a master of this ancestral weapon after all. Not but yet, not yet. Also, you kind of feel like maybe you don't care Maybe you feel like that werewolf, like, who gives a shit? Like, yeah. Whatever, the werewolf, you called the werewolf gay and it got sad? That's pretty dumb. What if the werewolf, though, in human form was like a famous YouTuber as well? That's why his, it was his headphones. 
So what if they go back and make a video? He doesn't about care. You, you know, you he's, care? I think he could say he honestly cares less about other people than he did before. Oh so. man. Yeah. Well, that's that that timer can also be the sign that maybe it's time to take a little break, a little food. Yeah. We created characters. You cleared the first level of this dungeon. Woo there are three more to go to make it to the Weeaboo Moon. Whoa! So I guess Damn. we'll continue that in the next episode of Skull Wizards of the Chaos Caverns. This is already so far out of my fucking grasp of what I thought this was going to be the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I'm still fingering my own asshole, by the way. Yo, what up, gamers? It's me. Tomothy here, giving you this post troll. Thanks for watching this episode of Skull Wizards. If you want to see some more videos, click on the screen, smash that bell, buy our merch, donate to Patreon. Uh, 